What is up everyone and welcome to the official Coconut Bra 2 channel. Now if you're here you probably know the reason I started this channel is that I can do extra videos that might be a little bit more niche than our regular tips and tricks such as a couple video ideas I was wanting to do were console only parkour spots where I actually film on Xbox. I'll probably throw in a casual map trick here and there in the other regular tips and tricks videos on this channel but of course only when it's extra extra spicy maybe a Q&A later but yeah the possibilities are endless but for today we're going to be doing a regular upload that you would see on the main channel to get this channel's kickoff party started. Anyways, Bra fam, thank you guys so much for making the journey over to this channel. I hope you like what you see, and if you have any video requests, literally anything that you want to see, post it up down below and maybe it'll be the next video. But anyways, let's get into our very first trick on the debut video of the Coconut Bra 2 channel. Now trick number one has two parts that consist of a nutty vault cam spot that will help you get intel on when to do a C4 run out. Now the C4 can be a little bit tricky but if you are quick enough you could actually just run to the edge and shoot down instead too. Regardless of how you use this combo it is really good, like even if you choose to just use the Valkyrie camera you'll gain a ton of intel on anybody pushing from the southern side of the map and the camera is so well hidden that you'll likely have it up there the entire round or at least until the random on your team starts spam spotting the other team. You can land this camera perfectly by aiming just left of the corner of the vents, crouching underneath of the door with your crosshairs above that corner where you are aiming, and then walking forward to chuck the camera outside. Now your camera that you threw will just clear the ledge and land on the forklift that happens to have almost the exact same colors as the black eye, so it blends in very well. Now if you have the correct intel and want to go for the C4 yeet, all you gotta do is run out until you hit the vents, aim as high as you can, and then just about one inch down from there. From there, just let it fly and it will land in the trench and take out anyone around this doorway. Now this C4 definitely looks tricky, and it took me a few times to get it down, but I am confident enough now that I could land this in the game. So this is for sure one to test out in a couple games yourself and see how you feel about it, but I am very confident that if you do test it out in a custom game, you'll also be able to pull it off in the game too. All right, I literally haven't covered a casual map in probably almost a year. I honestly can't name the last video that I did a casual map. If I had to guess, it would be the 200 tips and tricks video that I did. But that was, geez, that was almost a year ago already. But anyways, this is a good example of the benefit of the second channel. When I learn something as sneaky and cool as this hiding spot on house, I can come share it over here without hurting the expectations on the main channel. Um, but yeah, you guys can tell from this clip, you don't really need a tutorial for this trick. You can tell just from watching it, with the last update where they changed some of the vaulting mechanics slightly, you can actually get on top of this dining room cabinet now, and then once the top chair is destroyed, you will slip right in and be invisible. Now, whenever you're ready, you can simply just sprint on out and Freddy Krueger your poor victim and make them quit out to avoid being interrogated. Next up, we're going to be on Canal where Slayer showed me how you can destroy part of the wall in Radar Room and then use it to parkour glide and stand on and elevate yourself on the cabinet. From here, you have a couple different options with the first being opening up the wall and window to your east and then spawn peeking towards the construction spawn. Now you won't be able to see directly into the spawn, but you will have two lines of sight that are very common for attackers to cross once they leave. So you got a good chance at getting a really unexpected pick early on. Now the second option you have once you're up here is to anchor down and watch red stairs. Anyone coming up red stairs will have the top third of their head completely visible for you to take the easy kill and it's insanely hard to see you at the same time. Now I'm gonna freeze frame it on the moment that I die to show you that I literally don't even see the person that headshots me. It's actually nuts. Next up, we have an insane smoke throw that would make any Counter-Strike Pro proud of us. Now, 100%, I'm not saying you're going to get a million free kills with this one like some others that I might say that about, but the style points with this plus the ability to delay anyone outside during the duration of the closing rounds of this is nuts. Now, the main reason I do like this is because most times it's not going to be safe to throw your smoke out here 
if you're playing in bakery or kitchen, higher level or even medium to low level, you're gonna get annihilated for peeking this angle to try to throw a smoke out of the door. But when you throw it from top red, you literally make it look like it appears out of thin air and the attackers will be scratching their heads. Trick number five takes us to bank where did you know that you can actually vault up on top of the two western skylights to get angles that are really unexpected? These ones are definitely situational for cutting off the rotations or campers in the area, but honestly when I'm in these areas now I usually feel pretty safe, so now that I know that these angles even exist it's going to be just one more thing to think about. Plus now, if you have a cab hiding in loans, you can jump scare them and flip the roll all while you're going parkour daddy on the top. Moving over to the eastern skylight, we also have a way to get on top, but this one is definitely more tricky. From all of the tests that I ran, I found it easiest to do with any 3-speed operator and also while holding a handgun. If you stand on the northern ledge, you can see that there's actually a little lip on the edge before you drop on top of the rooftop. Well, if you stand on the edge, you look directly at the skylight and then sprint towards it, the lip of the edge will actually bump you up just enough to get the front of your toes onto the skylight edge. From here, just keep sprinting forward slightly until you hear the sound of you landing, and then from here, you're free to crawl around and scare the crap of your next victims below you. Anyways, bra fam, that's gonna wrap it up for our debut video on the second channel. Hope you guys liked it and learned some things that can get you guys some easy kills that you would not have gotten otherwise. And as I requested before, if you have any video requests, even if it's not Siege, dude, feel free to post it down below and maybe it'll be the next one. I'll see you guys all very soon in the next upload. I love you all. Peace.